Royal Enfield Bullet 350. I know that's the name you'll be thinking about. But today we have the most affordable Benelli out there. The Imperial A400. Yes, the retro design, it goes with the engine. Today we are here to find out how it performs on road. I am Anirban, you are watching Times of India Auto. The design language is polarizing. If you are a modern classic fan, this bike would rank high among the crop of budget machines out there. The retro theme body carries two important design aspects, sturdy parts and ample use of chrome. Honestly, a lot of similarities in terms of design when you look it against the likes of Bullet 350. A round headlamp with halogen lamps flanked by a couple of indicators in chrome casket. The headlight also gets a chrome bezel surrounding it. The 41mm front forks, the single disc 300mm single disc at the front give it a good and bold uh, texture. The dashboard is simple and straightforward. Two circular dials docked in chrome cases display speed, distance, trip, gear position and other readouts. Interestingly, the fuel gauge is marked in a spatula shaped digital dash in the middle. The single unit handlebar is flat and you would not find too many loose cables around the cluster. The belly portion of the motorcycle is something I like the most. Why? It gives you a very premium feel if you look at the bits and pieces out here. The naked engine compartment has two separate chrome cases on the exhaust. The red pad on the fuel tank and the classic spring-loaded rider seat exude a hint of premium feel. If you look at the tail section, it also has a heavy usage of chrome here and there. The tail lights are enclosed in chrome cases and even the brake light is in a chrome box. You get a massive sari guard out here and the plastic and metal used to build the frame is top notch. I do not have any complaints whatsoever regarding the build quality. The overall design is agreeable and lives up to the retro theme. I would have liked a few tweaks here and there. Probably a fly screen, an optional bench seat or even some treatment to the dashboard. The 374cc air-cooled motor pumps out 21 PS power and 29Nm of peak torque while mated to a 5-speed gearbox. The power delivery is linear and you can ride the Imperial F400 at 80-100 km an hour all day long with not much vibrations on the foot pegs or handlebar. The refined motor performs the best in the mid-range, cutting off at around 8000 rpm. The Imperial 400 gets a 12 litre fuel tank. Add to that a mileage of around 30 to 35 kilometers against a litre of petrol in combined city and highway conditions. It can be a very good touring bike. Speaking of top speed, you can push the bike to 130 kilometers an hour, which takes a fair bit of distance and time. In flesh, you'd be surprised to see how accessible the bike is. Thanks to the low 780mm seat height, 20mm shy of the direct rival bullet 350, slinging your leg over the seat is effortless. That said, maneuvering the 203 kilo bike in parking is somewhat tiring. The center set foot pegs and wide handlebars combined with extra cushiony perch to give an upright posture. The ride quality is not exactly plush. The 41mm front fork soaks bumper easily over the stiffly suspended preload adjustable rear. Thankfully, the 300mm disc up front and 240mm rear disc are ABS equipped and are very efficient with their braking duties. The bike uses TVS Remora tires 19 inch up front and 18 inch rear, which get the job done but are susceptible to leaks and breakdowns more often and Benelli could have surely used C8 instead. The Imperial F400 is a very likeable motorcycle, both by design and performance. While the bike ticks all the right boxes, the pricing has been spot on. Price at Rs 1.69 lakhs X showroom, this one sits right between the 350 Bullet and the Bullet 500. While the arrival of Leoncino Twins and now the Imperial F400, Royal Enfield Bullet 350 gets a worthy rival, it's time for Benelli to ramp up its game expand its dealership and service network.